Welcome back to part 47 of my Empress Khalid Let's Play. Total War Warhammer 3. So, picking things up, we left them last time. We started a new turn. All we did at the end of the last episode for this turn was to spend most of our money on various tier 5 settlements where we can now finally put in those tier 5 construct buildings. I wanted to do that at the end of the last episode while I remembered. Otherwise, chance would be I'd forget at the start of this one. I've also added in the titles that some of you were suggesting for um, Hakoros and for Rakash, uh, seeing as they broke... Uh, Archeon and Scarbrand over the last few episodes thought it would be fitting to give them some cool titles. So for defeating Scarbrand, we've now got Rakash the Rage Breaker and uh, Hakoros, we've got the Ever Slayer for defeating the Ever Chosen Archeon. Love it. Right. Well, you guys need to get moving, don't you? You are not the perfect breed. Both of you are pretty battered. Uh, so you need a little bit of chill time. Last one of the last settlements of Grimgore. Th last three. Yeah, we've got one over here we need to deal with. One or two of you have been saying, Lionheart, uh, did, did you forget about this army over here? No, I've, I've just kind of ignored it for a little bit. Um, but yeah, we need to deal with Azag. Uh, so we'll turn our forces around to deal with that. We might even send this new army that we're building up here to try and battle with them because we've got a lot of artillery, which could be fun. Um... And then, yeah, where else they've got? They've got that one up there as well, which I can swing this army back and down to because we're leaving Catherine to do her own thing in the north. Um, Kartep. I'll probably pull one of these guys back. Maybe maybe Wackaf Orcsbane should come back to help out against that one over there. Yeah, we need to bring at least one of them back over there. So what I'm going to do is pop you in here because you're more weakened. You'll replenish pretty darn quickly. And just check what are you missing point wise. Embalmed elixir. Yeah, it wouldn't be terrible for you right now. Great fire mouth. And then. I'm going to send you towards... Actually, yeah, what's in our own territory? Is that our own territory there? Yeah, cool. I serve not I'm going to send you here, ready to grab Blood Peak, and then cut down to Veil of Titans. Then we actually have a link over to Cafe. Although we've got, I mean, we've got a link there. Uh, one or two of you said, why not get... I think it was Defensive Alliance with the Caravan of Blue Roses. I think that was available or showing up. Prince of Elf One. Um, basically, I don't want to do it just because I don't want to have to remember another alliance that I've got to cancel. I mean, I've got to cancel non-aggression with them. Um, I think the suggestion was do that Defensive Alliance, then you could finally get some vampire troops for um, for Arkhan. But I think with that, with Arkhan, I probably want to do that with a Vampire Coast faction because then they'll... As far as I'm aware, they don't kick off with the end game Ultimate Crisis. Otherwise, we'll lose those units anyway. Um, yeah, the suggestion was to grab Pig Barter and give it to these guys. But for that, I'd need another army. Unless I pull someone down. Um, I've got any of that. So yeah, get those guys all moving. We can do some jars. The Crick and Flail of Radiance, or we can go for her armor. Scorpion armor. Let's go for some Scorpion armor. Attend your king, slaves. Okay, you're you're missing armor, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with you. I mean, I, these are another unique ones, so I should probably give this to a, a lord that's lacking in some, but of course the Everslayer. I mean, yeah, why not have it for now? We can always switch stuff out. There's actually quite a lot of armor in here. We could have switched around. Talisman, anyone? I've got a lot of items, actually. I've just realized. Talisman, have, yeah, fire resistance. Let's also, while we're here, do a little bit of fusion. I'll keep the potion of toughness, strength, because they're just good. Upgrade that to blue. I'm sort of steel. Yeah, I mean, it's only plus 20 armor. Nothing particularly fancy. Potion of Healing's good. Cloak of the Dunes. I mean, that is pretty cool, actually. I'm going to keep that. Crown of Command, Potion of Healing. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of that. So, we will leave the rest of the stuff in there for now. Uh, ancillaries, we've got some we can throw in. Okay. 
Can't play about moon range, lovely. My dynasty reigns supreme. Um, potion of speed. I'm gonna give you, instead of potion of speed, I'm gonna give you potion of strength. Executioner's axe is all right. Yeah, the rest of it's all good. Yeah, so I'm gonna just keep going through those items and gradually over the next few turns now, just sorting them all out. Uh, to fit in the... We've got the Necrotech going in here. I'll set the slaves to work. We're going to get a Lich Priest. And you guys said go for the Lich Priest of uh, Nehekara. Because then you've got the spell that buffs missile damage. And seeing as I've got all that artillery, that'd be rather tasty. Um, now, I think the suggestion was either drop a unit of spears or drop a Screaming Skull Catapult. I think I'm just going to keep it at, at like nice even six spear. So I'm going to drop a Screaming Skull Catapult. My will We've got be done. four artillery, which is still plenty to bombard and blast our enemies with. And then it means I can throw in a lovely Lich Priest of Nehekara. I was thinking light magic just for the netting and slowing troops down that way. But I agree, Nehekara better. Eternal or Channel Winds Magic Pack Reserve plus six. Uh, I'm going to take the physical resistance actually. Lovely, and then we'll throw you in there for next turn. So we are going to go through and get that one. I'm going to actually put three points into that straight away. Restless dead. Then we could push into all of these, but I'm just going to put it into Canopic Jars for now. And then in you go. Howling Rock. Yep, you guys can have an upgrade. Right, while we're over here. Um, yeah, Orcsbane. What were you missing? I, also, quite a few have been starting to say don't bother with Bone Giants too much now, Lionheart. They're just... Eh. I feel like it was a unit of archers we lost. We normally have four. Uh, plus, also, that's super easy to replace. <laughs> but I'm going to go grab this from Chaos first. Smash. Bottle Banner. Chuck it on them. Uh, occupy. Oh, that's the... I didn't even realize that was the provincial capital. Is that the provincial capital? It is. Nice. Happy accident. Um, right, yeah. So while you guys are here... Uh, oh, Global's busy. Um, oh, another Lizardmen thing. Still not Engine of the Gods. Hexotl. Also, Dom, I'm assuming that if the faction gets wiped out, do you lose the units as well? Greatness comes. Or do you get to keep them? It's like the last remnants. Bring that way. I should potentially bring Kartep back to deal with that one. It's that, and it's the garrison, isn't it? It's nasty. You guys are going to be how many? Three turns to the Necrosphinx. I kind of actually like the idea of sending this one down. So, you know what? I'm going to send you save mount it and then bring you across. So, I'm going to force march you down here. That way, I leave Kartep. Just keep on pushing north. And seeing as those regions... Season campaign, that lovely. Seeing as those regions up here are all unsuitable. Pushing, uh, save mountain. Ah, that one isn't unpleasant climate but that one is that turns into yeah it's mountain these are all um... yeah i think this is where we're i might take yeah i'll take that one but i'm going to leave those it's a buffer zone although the challenge zone is archaeon uh how many more territories does he have where's his shield there it is nine just to weaken him and also because it would give me some vision on when they i guess come towards me in the future it's down here as well. Uh, maybe I'll just go sack it and raise it. And then kind of pull back. And just leave it out. Leave it out. Um, I'm guessing now Yin got smashed by... Blessed Dread. Here, Felhart is down here with three armies. Mm-hmm. Yao Ming is... Yeah. Oh, God. And he's got all these armies down here. So I'm going to be facing the Blessed Dread then before not too long. Bring fire and terror. Great. And they're strength rank two. I'm strength rank three. Wow, okay. Dark Elves one and two. So, yeah, I'm going to be shoring up my borders on the east side. When 
you know, I can totally deal with that because I've, I've got time to deal with that. Or we're going to have to help. Since the force is here to help break the Blessed Dread and restore Cathay to be a bulwark in the east. All, like, good plans, but it all just depends on when Ultimate Crisis fires. But once we've done the bits over here, yeah, we might as well push out here and help them out. I mean, they're at war with a lot of factions as well. All with the Caravan of Blue Roses, which is good. because I mean, at least for now, it means that the southern flank is secure. Southeastern flank is secure because I doubt they're going to get through the vampires that easily. Oh, God, I didn't realize they didn't circle them down here. Oh, there's so many armies. Oh, wow. Your yeah, Western provinces, you're dead. They've lost some of the gates along the wall. Oh, wow. So be it. Yeah, that is just all kinds of not good. It's not a good day to be a dragon in Cathay. Right, that's the you guys all sorted through there for now at least. Arkan was going to grab more of this to throw over to the Empire. What was I doing with you? Or was it going to bring you up to hit Festus at this point? Yes, so. I mean, I can hit more time, Griffinwood. Give it to Drycha, but it's kind of like, why make Drycha stronger? Go for Keppelberg. I didn't realize all that had gone, actually. If we give all that to the Empire... Oh, actually, I'd probably give some of that to Kislev. They need Zavastra. Okay, so send you there. Drycha is going that way. I need to give Kugenheim away. Switch you guys in like so. Although you can probably go hit Talapheim, can't you? Can. Am I ready to declare war on them? I am prince and emperor. You're trying to deal with uh, Bellacor. How strong is Festus? Also, I've got to remember to join the war against Festus when I'm going to do it because Golden Order will pay. Who calls? The 51, so they should be weakened. Yes, see it is done. Let's let's do it. Now, welcome I to my private will study. join the war Wine against them. The palest gold will wet our palates whilst we speak. Lovely. You really get that land back from Belagar, I'm just saying. Very well. Another enemy, and then right clone, go here. Friends of the Empire, come. Yeah, take Krugenheim. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ask for any money this time because I don't want to keep bankrupting you. I feel Sigma's bad. Will. It's only for a turn. I'm sure they'll recover. I've given them lots of new land. For them to not be able to afford to upgrade anything in. Ain't I just lovely? Asaf smiles. Smash. For the creator God. I'll even put that in there because I'm feeling we noise. Begin. High Queen Kalida. Yeah, it's all toxic to us, so um. No, I can't. March. Might as well force march you to the settlement then. Prepare Take a little bit of attrition. Ships. Research, research, research. Oh yeah, it's all on getting those these guys for a can't be charged, but I'm saving at the moment. Right here I was gonna go get my vengeance against Fate Weaver. I'll probably even fight that one actually. Probably don't have regrets. Cetra can help out in a little bit. You're going to go there for a bit of replenishment. I can give all this to the dinos. So let's do that. Whether they whether they want this or not. I'm going to take some money from you because you're totally fine. That's it. That's all the money you had. Okay. Oh, why did I do that? Don't cancel out. Sis, uh, Crucible of Delight. Yep. Uh, what's the last one called? To 
for cards. For cards? For cards? For cards. That's only one gold. I don't know why I did that. I was like, and tempted. Oh, got so close to making you a vassal, though. If I had enough money, would that... How great would it be to have you as a vassal? Uh, I, I don't think it would be really doing anything more. Look at all this land I've given you. Need to take out those, uh... Need to clear out Fate Weaver's crevasse of the dead. Yeah, I'll come back to you in a minute. I'm just going to do everybody else's skill points. Kind of play out the rest of our moves for the turn. Find my harden. Uh, just stay there and watch Cafe die. You're over here now. Do not challenge me. Prince King of Greatest Dynasty. Open the casket of souls. I command. Off you go. You stay near here so I can see him. There's Crom over there, but I'm not worried about that. Building upgrade available. No, there's not. Imminent rebellion. I don't build any of that though. But why am I why am I upgrading the demon's gate? To be honest. No. Don't upgrade that. Yes, Wargrove, whoa. Yeah, okay, we'll do that with the dwarves for now. Ah, oh, yeah, eight peaks. Knew we had to do some stuff here. In which case, where was it that I just did that? Yeah, don't do that. Eight peaks, come here. Have some of that. Note to self, come back to eight peaks next time. Um, Just check all my armies have moved. Apart from you, because I'm about to move you now. Oh, yeah, King Cook. We have you. Um, Whisperer. I mean, I should probably knock these guys out to help out and then head that way. Help out Bretonia. Also because I can't see what's coming and I don't want to charge in blind. Bye, Slanesh. Thanks for some tasty, tasty jars. Yeah, move up here. deal with cool there was one other thing i wanted to check someone had a army of 19 over here and it's not you it's you what am i missing was it was the polka stalker i lost i feel like it might have been spolkle stalker or was it a casket no i don't think it was a casket uh, i can't get another spolkle stalker globally yet okay soon Soon, 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 soon. Right, let's go get our vengeance against Fate Weaver. Yeah, I want to fight it.
cavalry in order because I'm going to use you to knock out their horrors. Bada bing, bada boom. The dead do not rest. Oh, huge hit on the severed claw. Could we focus on bringing down Fate Weaver? That would be great. Oh, yes. Yes, great boo, Shubti. Bring that bad bird down. Kill him. Kill him. Big bird down. Big bird down. Come on. It's a bad day to live on Sesame Street. Nice. That's the next one down. Cavalry. Off you go. Oh, okay. That hurt. You had to do that spell, didn't you? Got him. We've not lost the unit. You shoved here coming. Bye bye. Just wipe them out completely. I want none of them left. Om nom nom. They all deserve death. Boom! Beautiful. 15 lost. Can take that. That's that's what we did. That's what we did. Uh, I mean, I could get teleport jumped on, but I'm not worried by that. I'm going to take attrition. We're going to head to the lighthouse. It's okay. I'm going to send you back on the quest I originally had you going on, which is up over there. Uh, there's now a building upgrade available, but we're going to save that money for the... Eight peaks. For the eight peaks.
As long as this serves Lebaras, I will hear your plea. We join the war against Clan Eshin. Okay, they've got like what, three regions through there. Uh, I'm going to say no right now. But I do have a, like a slightly vested interest in wanting to keep you alive. I might even give you some of the territory in the mountains, Western provinces, once I take out Grimgor. Rebellion in the southern wastes. Oh no. Faction halted. it. Oh, Zinch, this is what I get. <laughs> this is what I get for knocking out Fate Weaver. So we cannot move for this turn. Now, some of you might, might cry out saying, that's so OP, that's broken. I mean, I don't care. Like, like, that's fine. It, it, it's a fancy game of magic and, you know, denizens of the gods, um, you know, battling it out. I'm actually okay with that. As frustrating as that is when it happens to you. Um, I love that that's featured. I mean, we've got obviously like Snitch can like knock out a whole faction and make them all die uh, with his ability. Um, so it, it's nice that some factions also have some like huge, massive attacks. Um like that massive um, faction mechanics like that and it 100 makes sense that zinch could you know do stuff like that um i'm gonna go for yeah increasing that i think uh actually don't want you know we do want that one for upgrading yeah definitely and then we're gonna start powering you up i think uh don't want to pop no one that maybe maybe a few more points and some skills but yeah other than that we're all good right before i forget eight peaks Hi, how you doing? I hear you would like some of this. Uh, just shoring up our defenses right now. Yeah, I'm going to get you guys upgraded because we need that, that extra stuff coming through there. Empire's going through there. Arkin. Oh, it was like, oh yeah, move. Oh, wait, no, yeah, can't do that. We're not taking attrition anymore. Why? Surely, does that not cause attrition? Other and asp. I do not know. Okay. Not oh, Bellicle's back. Cool. Shadow. That's where I want to go then. Knock him out. Franz is moving. He's also beelining for Bellicle. Beeline for Bellacore. Oh, you've got the um ornament out rise grenade launchers. They're so cool. Oh yeah, you were having a wander around the uh Oh yep, yeah, my agents can't move either. Okay, well it's just spend some money time. That that's all we can really do this turn. It suits my purposes. Eat some better troops, mate. Naturally. I follow Zinch alone. It's not a good Sons space you find yourselves in. Most also, where's, certain... where's the logic in wherever you're heading right now? You're going to go over Zanshi. Is that their capital? I mean, it's a seat of power for sure. It's a good, good one to have, but you should probably Watch clear out the stuff in between this. you. And then um, just thought, I don't know why I keep trying to move you. Oh, nice. We can get these guys upgraded. Ah, we can get that. Yes, great Halls of Nagashar. Lovely. Immutal Vampire Attrition. Lovely at the last minute. I mean, that will be... Double Experience Game will be useful when we're fighting against vampires when they will kick off against us. So that's fine. I'm going to go for you and I'm going to go for a Hero Titan next because I went for a Necrosphinx. 
in the other place. Um, that's cool. no, don't do that. Where was I? I was going to upgrade you with that money. Okay, uh, that's basically all we can do. So back on over here. Who are you, Mentash? Ooh, love. Ooh, yeah. That, okay, that is disgusting and scary, and I'm worried about Captain Cook right now. Oh, it's all looking a bit nasty in Britonia. Clench your butts, everyone. Oh, I could have done a canopic jars. And yeah, I thought this was going to happen. It's a close victory, low casualties. You are absolutely joking, AI. Like, what? I mean, okay, we've got artillery, but there's no way fighting that I would have that result. Surely. I mean, the reinforcers are actually three minutes they're going to take to come in. We probably could bombard and blast them a fair bit. Um... Is that... That's Fornica and Whisperer. There's both those armies in front of me that I was worried about. Thing is, the thing is, when we get a big battle like this, I'm kind of like, I see the challenge in it. I'm like, I kind of want to fight it. I know there'll be those of you that are disappointed if I don't fight it. But also... Ah, uh, should I really... Should I really not take that? I wish the order resolve was slightly better because it, at its um, at suggestions, I mean, may, maybe it is and I'm just overthinking it, but a sheer number of forces, can we whittle down enough of them? I mean, that is just a load of marauder spam, to be fair. The chariots are nasty, though. It's all about how much damage you can do to this first army within the first three minutes, which, assuming... That's what the order results looking at, and it's going, yeah, you'll you'll wipe them out comfortably, and then these guys are just trash. You'll keep wiping them out. I mean, definitely, if you can block that bloated corpse amongst a load of them, that'd be great because that'll take out a load of them. You know what? I think I'm going to open next episode fighting this battle. It's up to you guys to convince me. Please don't do it, Lionheart, because I'm, I'm going to do it. Yes, there might be regrets, there might be tears, but it's a super fun, slaneshy, slippery slaughter. Who's going to get slaughtered? We'll find out at the start of the next episode. Until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take Prime to the lead and check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclocks UK. Till the next one. Ciao for now.